So today we would like to uh, to introduce the communication system. So first, it's some movie trailers and Happy New Year's. Then, what Walid want from this module is that uh, Walid want you to learn some new things about communication system and do well in your exams. Find the useful and relevant things in this module while enjoying this process so what do you want to achieve so basically uh, there are some um, things about the wide communication system the structure the housekeeping the material and the overview so let's look at what that is so firstly let's look at the so Control. It's not workable. Oh, okay, okay, good, good. Let's do it. So, why communication system? There are some uh, other related topics, for example, like uh, antennas and propagation, the digital and the wireless transformation, the image processing, and the photonist and project work. So some similar p topics like a spectrum, Fourier transform, bandwidth, sampling, and the Nyquist criterion. Since uh, in terms of the propagation, how to propagate the uh, signal from uh, the source to the terminal. The antennas, which means how to design maybe the small antennas for maybe 5G signal. And digital communication is, for, is to, just like this, I think it's like something we uh frequency yes how to transmit the digital signal the electronics everything here is based on the electronics the uh, photonomous which means that uh, we are uh using some photonomous to transmit the signal and then in terms of the structure which means that it is a single semester with 7.5 credits uh there are 15, uh, 13 lectures with 10 per one class, and uh, two labs which does not come directly to ERC 202. The assessment is going to be 15% for the week 7, 15% for the week 11, and 70% uh, for the final exam in the sem uh, sem summer. The housekeeping is that uh, uh, I try to uh, uh, I will try to arrive early and prepare for the projector. I will request everyone to be seated at the start of the lecture. The lecture will never uh, last longer than 45 minutes. And the Kahoot class will be there as well in terms of the YouTube and uh, the promo demonstration. We will have some stream, uh, stream lecture. So in terms of the material, this exercise will be some lecture notes, promo sheet, kahoots, textbook, discussion board, and YouTube materials. Everything with communication will be fine, and uh, buying a textbook is a good investment. So there are going to be two main topics here, which is analog signal and the digital signal. So analog signal, we are going to talk about the modulation, the amplification modulation, the angle, angle, uh, the angle modulation, the frequency modulation, the phase modulation, the noise. The digital part, we are going to have with the digitization, the pulse modulation, the digital transformation, the multiplexity, the channel capacity, yeah. And then we are going to the introduction to the to the introduction to the uh, communication system. So we are going to have two class tests which are going to take 15% uh, uh, each time. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. And uh, let's go to this one. The engineer signal is a variation of measurable quantity that comes with the information about the behavior of the system. And the signal can depend on a single variable or many variables, the time, horizontal, or vertical position of moving image. The communication signal depends on the single variable which we assume to be a time. 
So what we can interpret the signal to make decision, the signals which are transmitted allow us to see here, feel and act information can be transmitted in signals. Signal analyze allows us to understand and interpret the aspect of the signal, which is significant but it's not obvious at the first inspection. The communication uses the signal to convey information. The communication is to transfer the information at one time to another time or from one location to another location. And uh, in terms of the how what why is the why is the communication important? In nineteen uh, in eighty seven nine, all educated uh, there is a famous quote from a Boston newspaper it it is true, indicating that all the educated individuals must realize that the transmission of the human voice on one is impossible, even if with war it would be no practical value or what whatever. So in terms of the evolutionary of the radio technology, there are many issues, uh, comments about the 5G technology. So, so what I would like to emphasize is the communication system. So it's going to be five blocks or maybe six blocks within this system. The first one is the information source, and the, uh, it's, then we go to the encoder or modulator. Uh, the input data will uh, then will come become a transmitted uh, signal. Then it will come to the communication signal where many distortion and interference and noises may come into play. And we will have to receive the signal with the demodulator and decoder. Finally, we can output the signal to the message scene. The components we have the source encoder and the transmitter, the channel, the receiver and source encoder. Let's explain this uh, each one to you, where the, con the source encoder converts the message to the message signal, the transmitter converts the message signal in what bits into a format <laughs> appropriate for channel operation, maybe something with high frequency, and uh, the channel introduces the, some in uh, distortion, the noises and interference. So in terms of the receiver, we can decode the received signal back to the signal again, and the source signal decodes the message signal back to the original signal. So for example, we have the transmitter here and the antenna here, and uh, there are many kind of communication system. For example, uh, the telephone, the TV broadcast, the radio, the wireless network, the mobile network, the satellite transmission, the fax, the smart watch, and the first. And um, the information source may take uh, many forms, for example, the data, the image, the voice, the uh, video, the transmitter. We can process the information into a form of suitable transformation, the modulate the information onto a waveform which may propagate. And the channel will relay the information between the location and the receiver must reconstruct the transmitted information from the receiver form to uh, as accurate as possible. So. Additionally, we are going to determine some terminologies about this uh, this issue. For example, we have the information source, which is the device producing information to be communicated, and the binary bit, which is the fundamental information unit for all digital system unit of information content. And bit stream, bit stream is a sequence of binary digits base uh, base bind. The digital symbol is a group of all the bits considered as um, Considered to be a, a, a signal, and uh, what makes a good communication system uh, would have the, a good signal, a good signal fidelity. The fidelity in Chinese means the and the high fidelity means high five. And the analog signal, we can uh, have a high signal to noise ratio or for the in the system, we have a low bit error rate and a low signal power, which means that it may last longer and it can meet a lot among the information in a small amount of time, which means that, uh, you know, there is no uh, waste of energy. For example, here, we want to, uh, in Chinese version, we're going to only tell you the things that are going to be shown in the examination. So this is going to be convert a large amount of information in a short amount of time. And it's a co a, uh, trying to occupy the a small bandwidth because the small bandwidth may help you to may the large bandwidth may cost more money, and uh, then we come to low cost. So basically, the common engineer must balance all these things rather than trying to rather than trying to uh, do this for a long time. Uh, 
rather trying to uh, uh, rather trying to achieve them all because sometimes they are contradicting factors. Since there are some factors influencing the system design, the technology te te technology technological limitations and the government regulations, commercial realities, we are going to consider these things. So the first thing is technolo technological limitations. We have the availability of the software, the hardware, the form of consumption, the component size, the increase limit or the shadow limit. And the government's regulation may be the British approval brand for the communications. And we also have some commercial uh, realities. For example, it is the consumer demand, avoid, uh, avoid over the engineering and under the engineering. We also have some trade off between the communication design, the satellite and deep space communication, the way the power is very expensive. And uh, the, and uh, the distance, travel distance are enormous, must be energy efficient. The microwave relay power, the power is cheap, but the available bandwidth is restricted by regulation. It must be bandwidth efficient. For example, the cellular phone, the power is costly, and the bandwidth is also limited, must be both band and power efficient. In terms of the band, uh, baseband and band pass, the purpose of the communication system is to transmit the information signal uh, baseband signals through a communication channel. The baseband describes the band frequency representing our original system as derived by the E. So the uh, baseband means the uh, frequency of the uh, input signal, and the passband is the frequency of the communication signal, which is generally much more higher than the much more higher than the original one. So. Let's do this together about the operational frequency of the 2G and the 2G in, uh, let's see the operational frequency. So so one G one G is uh, so there's no one G. Let's count two G is uh, eighty is eighty million hertz or one. 1,020 million hertz for 2G. For 3G, is uh, 2,000 and 2,001 mega uh, million hertz. For the 4G, is 500 and uh, 820 mega hertz and uh, 1,080 mega hertz. Why they are sharing the mega hertz? This is a promo, huh? And uh, so 5G. 5G is operational frequency. Five G O P Six G hertz to one hundred G hertz. Why is that uh, so so high for I'm Dr. Deborah Day. Reaching to twenty four G hertz. 
up to 72 GHz. So Wi-Fi frequency is around 22 or 5G has Bluetooth frequency, Bluetooth frequency. Two point five, two point four five gigahertz. GPS frequency. One five seven five megahertz and one two two seven dot six megahertz. FM ratio. So it's also megahertz. Megahertz. But it's gigahertz. MG, yeah, megahertz. Oh, I see. So the so FM is around the 75, 87.5 to 108 megahertz. Okay. DAM radio. DAB radio. It's wideband broadcast technology, which can be allocated in the band three and the low L band. So, so it is uh from the band three we can have one hundred and seventy four to. 240 megahertz for the large L band you can have 1.4 gigahertz. That's very interesting, huh? So my question here is, uh, my question here is, uh, how does the why can the 5G and uh, that's awesome question. So my question is uh, the discussion board ask board that train the subject why can uh, let's see why can let's look at this one let's look at this one Why can the 4G and the 2G share the same frequency? Why can 4G and 2G share the same at uh, 1.8108 megahertz. Oh. 
Oh no, it's medium health. Medium health. GSM. 2G GSM. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you very much for your comments and subscriptions.